Hello guys, in this video, we will take a look at the BIOS basic concepts, like what it is, how it works. I'll show you how to write your own master boolean code and as the BIOS find out it. And finally, you know, subsect a state builder from the MBR. Okay, let's get start. Okay, BIOS stands for basic input output service. It's nothing but a firmware that is stored in a uh, non volatile memory in the master board. In the early stage, BIOS is stored in ROM, but in this day, it is stored in NVRAM or flash, so it can rewrite to the memory and update the firmware. And the main idea of BIOS is to hide detailed information about PC models and hardware from OS and applications. It's like a way we try to abstract the hardware layer from the upper layers and the applications, just use BIOS service and generic interface for OS. Okay, what does BIOS do? First thing the BIOS do is POST stands for Power On Self Test. When the computer is power on, it runs through a series of diagnostic and make sure all the hardware components are working properly. Like validating the hardware, checking memory corruptions, after that, it try to find bootable device like a hard disk, CD, ROM, etc. And when it files the device that we can boot, it set up the environment and note the master boot code from the storage device to the physical memory. And finally, it passes control to the master boot code. It is the most important job the BIOS have to do. After this, it's so our responsibility is to finish the boot process. Uh, so what it is, what is master boot code? It is nothing but a sector that contains information like storage, device, partition, and our executable bootloader code and the signatures, so that the buyer can find it, like. BIOS will scan for all devices in order and check for the, these signatures. It's just two bytes of magic numbers in the end of sector. And if the signature is matched, BIOS will load the sector to RAM and let the CPU start execution from the address 0x7c00. And note that we have only one sector for the MBR, that means 512 bytes. And inside that, we spent 66 bytes for partition and G table, and should have only 446 bytes for our bundle code. That is very small, and that is the reason why we need the second state bundle. Okay, so let's take a look to the boost process based on BIOS. When the system power up, and the CPU will start execute BIOS from the non volatile memory, and BIOS do its jobs like post, check the hardware, find the bootable device, load the master booty code from the storage device into RAM, and pass control to it. And that's so about the BIOS responsibility. After that, it's our responsibility like load the second state bootloader and not going to pass the control to it uh, and let it boot the operating system. And the reason why we don't directly load the color in MBR code or even next BIOS not it directly is because the BIOS firmware is very small, right? And uh, running in the real mode, 16-bit mode, just means we have many limitations and take more code to not like a very complex color and operating system. So we have to split to many steps like this. Okay, now let's go to the real code. I already implemented this program here. You can see here is our master boolean code. And uh, the last thing is our second step loader. Let's look at this code. First thing I do is just tell the assembler that our program will run at address 7C00 and we run at 16-bit mode. 
we jump to start function uh, before the by us to transfer the CPU to us. Uh, it already set up some uh, environment, uh, but we still have to like clear segment registers and uh, set up the stack pointer. And I look at to the memory now here. You can see that our multiple record here in the physical memory, and uh, we will load the second step bootloader at this upper of this. And we still have some free memory here, and we'll set up stack pointer point to this because this, this uh, stack pointer will grow down. So I think that is uh, fit for us now. We can use this. And the main part of the master boot code is still is uh, loads the bootloader code, second state bootloader code. And I will use the BIOS service and, and I talk a bit about the BIOS service. It's like uh, the library that BIOS provides to you, so you can use this to accept the hardware or to do many, many things around this like BIOS provide for you and you just call this like a function code. And it's similar like this, like we have to set up some register, like parameter and cons function and after that BIOS will set up another register and to indicate the error code or to return the result for example. And here I'm using the interrupt 0813, let's see what is it. Here I using this service to like read our second stable order from the hard disk and load it to the physical memory and run. And here you can see we have to set up some register like uh, um, SI register for this address packet and the AS will be uh, <coughs> 42. Here, yeah, I just I create I have to create a next nice structure for this packet address, right? So I already create in Bino of this. It's yeah, just like a, a memory reason for this. Um, it's similar like a array in C. So I just create an empty array and next put the address to the this register. And after that, I start set up this structure so the BIOS can understand what I want to do. Like, first byte will be the packet size, so, and the second thing is we will load the five sectors. I want to spend five sectors for our second step loader. I think that is enough. And next thing is offset. We want to load the loader to the physical memory. And here, here is a. Mm, Start of sector we want to load. Next thing we do is just set up the AS register to point to uh, extend read service and cause interrupt. That's all. After we call this normally, the BIOS will set some flag and to indicate the error. So I also create check the code and I could check the carry flag will be set if error. So if the error occurred, we will, run. We will jump to this code. This code do nothing, just call another service and I interrupt my chain here, like a video, and we can print the message and I indicate the error. Yeah. If everything fine, I will jump to the second step of the code. That is quite simple. And look at this below here. Here just is the array I want to spend. And because uh, we still have a NAS memory, like, like I we mentioned before, just we still have uh, 40, uh, 446 by for our memory's ex executable code. So, but we still have uh, some like an unused memory, so I will fin zero to own the rest of memory. The next thing will be is, uh, 60 bytes for the four partition entries. Uh, some by us still check for this, so we still have to do this if you want to bypass the, the validate. And final thing is just our magic number.
it is in the signature that so the BIOS can look up to to your code, to your master body code and check is the uh, valid and you load it to the physical memory and transfer the execution for this. Okay, that's all for our master body code. And now look at the loader code. In the second step of the uh, loader code, I do the same thing here. You can see, just tell the assembler that we want to run our program as address 7E00. And I do nothing in here, just do nothing and print something like loader is running. Okay, now uh, now we have to create an image, so for like a hard disk image, so the buyer can look up to our hard disk. I will sing the tuna BX image here. You can see we want to create the hard disk image. Yet using the hard disk tie. Okay, using the flat tie. Because I just want to uh, demonstrate for you, so I think that this image is very small, so we just need 10 megabytes that equal to uh, 20 um, sectors. I think that is a lot for everything. Okay, nice. Create boot dot image. Okay, you can see here. We all, we already have this boot image here. Last thing we have to do is just build a program like to the binary format and put it to the, our image. I already created a make file for this. Here I using the nums tool to uh, build our code to binary format and just put it directly to the, our image. Like a first uh, sector will be some uh, multiple record, right? You can see here, first um, 512 by will be multiple record, and the second thing will be uh, our second stable order code. I spent five sectors for this, and we'll start from the sector one. And I just feel some zero after this. So. Okay, let's make. Um, now I get to, uh, I will sing the QAMU to simulate the BIOS here. And uh, specify your image. Here you can see the loader is running and using uh, using the BIOS service we can print the loader is running here to our screen. That's so for us and we can now we can start running the second step loader. We will run like um, now we have like a bigger memory to do many things like set up protected mode and many things and like transfer the CPU control for the color, set up the envir environment for it. I will do it in the next video. So that's so far for it. Thank you. Bye-bye, see you in the next video.